Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. Alpha 4.0 is getting better, but there are still some pretty big issues remaining. As always, a huge thank you to all of my patrons and channel members. Thank you so much for the support. It is truly appreciated. So this morning, I decided to jump into the latest 4.0 build and see about recording one of the new missions, but the game had other ideas, so instead, I thought I would use that footage to talk about how 4.0 is progressing and the good and the bad. Now, before we begin, there is only four days left to grab the Toby Eye Tracker 5 at 20% off, and using the link in the description will take you to that deal while also providing my channel with a direct kickback. So a big thank you to everyone who has done so already. And if you want help with the settings, be sure to ask me while I'm streaming. Now, firstly, the build that we are playing at this time on the EPTU for 4.0 released on the 27th of November. And this build is so much better than the previous build where we were stuck in the space stations due to the elevators not working. That was practically unplayable. There was also a lot of performance issues in the previous build around space stations, potentially due to everyone being stuck there, but it made it a pretty difficult patch to do anything. Now, on the build that we have today, what I was playing this morning, I saw a great improvement in client-side performance everywhere. I was getting 30 to 60 FPS while in the space station, specifically Checkmate. I can't speak for the other space stations, as I never went there. Uh, and this just got better as I travelled around to Monox, the Pyro 2 planet. Now, it did state in the patch notes on the 27th of November that they have done further Pyro station exterior performance passes and further Pyro outpost polish passes as well. So this could have been why I was seeing a lot more performance client side, but either way, it was super smooth. And before we talk further about the current build, Cloud Imperium did intend for a new 4.0 build to release to the EPTU last night, still wave one, but it failed. However, they say they do have more fixes in the works already to push this build out today being Friday. So hopefully that is the case. And tonight we can get another build, another patch that is building on what we have now. Now, the mission that I tried was to do a missing person mission for the citizens of, or citizens for prosperity, which took me to an abandoned outpost on Monox. And if you have seen a previous video of mine exploring one of these abandoned outposts, they are huge. And upon arriving after sort of flying a bit lower, I planned to do a bit of a circle of the location, but there was a turret somewhere off in the distance that kept targeting me. Not to do with this outpost, this was probably another settlement or something somewhere else. I had to fly lower to avoid that targeting. Um, but I was presented with a lot of potential investigation location markers once I was at the actual location. Now, personally, I would love it if this mission just gave you the marker for the last known location, and then you explore all of it to try and find where this person is, rather than suggesting specific points to look at, as A, it clutters the HUD with more UI, and I much prefer less UI, and B, I just like the freedom of exploring and picking where I go and look rather than them sort of magically telling me where to go because all you're going to do is go to those specific locations and then get out of there rather than actually take the time to search. But that is just me. Anyway, I hopped out of my medical Pisces and drew my weapon, but as seems to be the case at these abandoned outposts, there are no NPCs. Now, whether there is supposed to be, whether it's intentional that there aren't any there, I don't know, but it is what it is. Hopefully some of them will, some of them won't. I think that might be the, the best idea. But upon exploring the first two markers, I did find a couple of bodies, both of which I could click search on, but neither of which completed the mission when I did so. So I spent the rest of the time just looking around to see if I could find any more bodies because I didn't expect to find two. I was only supposed to search for one but I didn't find any. Now, I presume the mission is bugged. However, there was a couple of locations at this abandoned outpost where I would consistently fall through the planet. So the body I needed to find could have been around that area. It could have fallen through the planet itself. I don't know. But either way, I wasn't able to complete the mission. Now, there were some very exciting places at this outpost. Loads of gear to find just lying around. You know, tractor beams, backpacks, weapons, just literally lying around areas where you could explore. Nothing new in terms of really unique loot for Pyro yet. Uh, there were some, I suppose, potential crafting ingredients like cables and other items that 
don't look to have any use, but I presume they're going to be used for crafting when that comes along. Uh, I also did find a really cool crevice within the grounds of, or the interior of one of the abandoned bases that had some hand mineables in at the bottom, which are really cool. So a nice place, if you're a miner or you have a, a mining attachment, you could come and just do a bit of mining down there and get out of there. But ultimately, as I say, I couldn't complete the mission. Uh, but in 4.0, this current build, in terms of performance and stability, which for me is the most crucial aspect of the initial 4.0 launch, that is way up. It is the smoothest build that we have ever had in terms of performance, and I hope that that is a sign of things to come, rather than just lucky timing. Now, missions aside, I hope to see more bug fixing and polishing of the planets and their points of interest, whatever it is that's causing me to fall through the planet, but most importantly, keeping the performance and optimizations going from patch to patch as I was able to crank up the graphics to the max, including clouds and water to the max, uh, and still enjoy a really smooth experience in space and planet side. Now, of course, I would love it if they could get all the missions working for the launch of 4.0, whenever that's going to be, as all of these missions will have us exploring all sorts of new locations, building reputation with the new orgs and gangs while discovering these new points of interest. There are so many things to find out there. And of course, I don't know what is on Cloud Imperium's list of must fix or must do before wave two, wave three, four, and then live can roll out. But they are really storming ahead, pushing out patch after patch. And here's hoping that tonight's patch is just as good, if not better than the one that dropped on the 27th. Now, I am feeling very optimistic about a 4.0 release this year. And I just hope that nothing nasty rears its head and slows that progress up. If they can get it out so that we're all playing 4.0 over the holiday break and heading into the new year with 4.0 server meshing pyro out the door, that will be a really good place to build upon for next year. But with that said, that is my current experience. I haven't played a lot because I was out all day yesterday and I was super tired last night. But as mentioned, we will be playing this on stream today. I will be streaming on YouTube and Twitch between 2 and 6 p.m. GMT, checking out as many missions as we can. You are all more than welcome. You can come and ask your questions as well. It is a great place to ask those questions because I am live, I am there. But if you did enjoy the video, please do consider subscribing and helping the channel to grow. Make sure you take advantage of that Toby deal while it happens, but do not worry if you don't. There will always be another Toby sale in the future. Hit the thumbs up if you don't mind. It does the channel a big favor and tick that notification bell if you'd like to be notified when my videos go live. Again, a huge thank you to my patrons and channel members. Cannot do it without you guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.